Hey there, folks. This is Kent once again. Uh, uh. Hey there, folks. This is Kent once again with KJS Painting and Renovations. We're back once again with another how-to video. This time we are removing uh, some sheet rock. We were here earlier. We removed some sheet rock, and we're going to remove the rest of the sheet rock on this on this wall today. Here's how you do this. How, how you do this job. The first thing you need is uh, a regular carpet knife. You can see we have our uh, carpet knife here. And you go ar around all the edges. I guess it makes sense to start uh, in the corner first. You can see here's the room. And you start in the corner. You get the blade up in there. And you just run it down the wall like so. You might ask, why do we do this? It's so, we want to remove only this wall, not this one. And so you cut the edges so that it doesn't do this tearing business. And we're going to go along the top, use this tool along the entire top. And down that back wall after we, re after we remove the boxes. And here, too, uh, we can go along the, the bottom of the window sill here. And just like so, just zip along, nice fresh blade, and come up to here, and we're going to do the same thing, cut down here, we're going to leave the sheetrock behind these hanging racks, because we're still going to want to use these, and at this po point there should be a note that once the sheetrock comes off, the homeowner has decided to, to leave the sheetrock off the wall, so this wall will have no sheetrock, it's just a garage. Um, we don't need to have sheetrock in here, so we're going to leave it off. So that's why we're we're cutting around uh, here, like so. We'll just put the blade in here and cut along here. So when the sheetrock comes off, it's gonna it's gonna leave this little bit behind. We'll go down here. See, and then after it's cut, then here's the fun part. We have. Uh, What's a, a pickaxe here? This is a real nice pickaxe, um, and this part is called a uh, a mattox. It's like a nice big uh, handle, and uh, you'll see how this will get the sheetrock off in a hurry. You simply just use this daddy here and uh, go at the wall. And having a dust mask is, is a good idea too. All right, so we'll be back in a minute with uh, the mattox. We're back. You can see we've got uh, some uh, dust mask. We got some eye protection. We have our uh, our Maddox right here, and we got going a little bit. Uh, one thing to note is that uh, there might be there might be wires in the wall. There might be plumbing, and there are these uh, diagonal um, braces. So we know that that's going to be going up along this way. So we look out for that. But the, what we start doing. So at first we just start gingerly, um, you know, exploring. It's kind of like a exploration. We just start trying to see if it's okay. And then there we go. We go through. And uh, this just starts to come out. And you take and bounce. Off it comes. We could go in the corner and work in here. Same thing. There might be something. So we just very gingerly. Not to hurt anything. It seems like there's nothing back there. So, same thing. I want to get the matting in there. And, uh, mind you, I'm using one hand here. But, uh, start exploring. Always looking for wires. See, we made that cut there. It's coming out nice and clean on the edge. And so, how about we put the camera down? So we'll do a little demo, use two hands and just explore once you get in. I'm starting to come off in a, in a hurry. And so that's basically the technique. That's off. I think now we got the cross brace there, so go around it. And, uh, but this is just all coming off pretty quickly here. Leave it in between. Okay, so, 
coming off pretty clean. I guess we can show you the uh, the bracing. Here's the bracing here on the diagonal. In the corner it's come off clean. We'll do the same thing up here and uh, bust this up and put it in uh, the black contractor bags and then uh, haul it out of here. And so I'm going to get back to uh, the fun part of the job here and just go from this corner over to this corner. I have to remove some of these boxes, but that should just take you know, 20 minutes and this job will be done. So here's one added uh, note I thought I'd show you another tool. You can see it's simple to get in with this uh, carpet knife. Um, most places, but here where this pipe is, it's, it's not that easy to get in, so our carpet knife isn't going to work, so it's good if you have a pocket knife. You can take this, open it up, and then maybe I grab onto it like this and get it in there, and then that will cut there. So it's good to have a variety of tools on this sort of job. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video, and uh, I hope it was helpful. And if you would like some help with this, give me a call or give somebody else a call. Um, but yeah, once again, thanks for watching the video.